I'm your co-host, Toxic G. It's your host, Chris. I'm sorry about that connection interruption. Let's get back to the show, if you know what I mean. Here we go, the fifth show. And boy, do we got a big surprise. You guys are all in for a ride. Second take, just for you. Because I messed up in front of you. Hopefully you're not mad at me. Cause I'm your co-host Toxic and your host is It's King Chris. Here we go, take two for you. This is the late night we have show. And hopefully you know that we got a special guest for you. Cause Tom, we really want you to know that we really love you. This is the late night wim show. So come with me, Toxic G, with the two inch peen, and get ready for everyone to laugh. All right, well, you know the drill. I'm sorry about that little connection thing. I'm your host, Toxic G. This is Late Night Weems. I'm gonna take over the mic to It's King Chris. Have a night night. Enjoy the show. Welcome everybody, and thank you, Toxic, for that amazing intro. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was like, "What?" <laughs> I, w- I thought I thought you were doing like a, something different, like an acapella version. No, nope. I was kind of excited. <laughs> oh, no, it's Anyways, not good, Chris. we have it's scary. Have an amazing show for you today. We're gonna kick things off with an interview with a very special guest. Afterwards, we're gonna go straight over to anime news, letting you know what has been happening in the anime world. Afterwards, we will be celebrating a few birthdays of your favorite anime characters. And we're going to finish things off with reading very spicy fan fiction that you guys and girls wrote here on Discord. What do you think of today's show, Toxic? And what do you think of all that fan fiction we received? Whew! Chris, we were, we were going over last night. <laughs> and, wait, say it again? It got me hot and bothered. Whew! I was um I was kind of um, you know just I, I was yes. getting a little um my I had to change my underwear just let's just say oh that. that's my all goodness. I have to say it was <laughs> they, those were some pretty spicy ones like oh <laughs> boy do we got some I can't I can't even talk I'm like I don't know if, I don't know if we if we can upload this to YouTube we might be uploading this to a different website but the first part of today's Wait, show we can definitely what? upload to YouTube. What the f- <laughs> Let me introduce (laughs) Let me introduce our special guest for today. He is a Oh, (laughs) by the way, uh Toxic, do you know do you have him here? In the in the audience? Yeah, Um, yeah, I do. I do. Okay, perfect. So he is a professional voice actor, best known for his work on Naruto, Naruto Shippuden, and Boruto Naruto Next Generations. He is the voice of Shikamaru Nara, and he's joining us now live from the United States. So put your hands together for Tom Gibbs. <laughs> Welcome to the show, Tom. Welcome. Hey. <laughs> Thank you like so much joy. for joining us. Thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for the chaos, and we thank you so much for coming on, even though it was very spontaneous. Yes, it was sort of last second, but I I had a minute, and I thought, yeah, I can do it. Why not? So, <laughs> a minute is all we will need from you today. <laughs> <laughs> so we're we're I'm, all I'm so very. Hyped. Yeah, yeah, I am too. We're huge fans of you, Tom. I don't know if you're aware. Oh, thank you very much. And um, I'm always curious, like, how people got into the position they are now to, to get to do what they're doing now. So I was curious, what got you into voice acting? Has this been something you've always been interested in? Or did it just kind of happen for you? Well, for me, it was uh, an outcropping of... I always wanted to be an actor. Like, when I was a little kid, I'd put on shows for grandma and you know, uh, my mom and dad and things like that. I was always sort of, I was sort of an extroverted, extroverted kid there. And I was, you know, always very, you know, big personality doing little shows in my backyard, that kind of thing. And, um, and then briefly I thought, well, nobody's an actor. I don't know any actors. (laughs) 
Like they're all on TV. They're all, you know, nobody we ever met was an actor. So I was going to be a forest ranger. That was my big junior high dream was to become a forest ranger. And then uh, I found out that the U.S. uh, Forestry Service only hires like two guys a year. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I think my odds are better in acting. (laughs) (laughs) That's not a lot of people. (laughs) Exactly. And and you have to do a lot of math to be in uh, the forestry. So um, I just, I started doing plays and I, um, uh, I went to school for it. I went to Mankato State University, which is now Minnesota State Mankato. They changed the name on me. Mm-hmm. And um, so I graduated from there and then I worked at some regional theaters in Minneapolis, uh, the Guthrie Theater and um, the, the Brave New Workshop, which is, um, it's one year older than Second City in Chicago, if you're familiar with that, but they do improv. improv. Interesting. It's a lot like Saturday Night Live. A lot of the Saturday Night Live people came from Second City, or uh, some of them came from the Brave New Workshop as well. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so I did that, and that was that was probably the best training I've ever had, and I was getting paid and doing being a professional actor, yeah. the whole thing, and so that was that was actually pretty great because I was writing and doing shows and satire comedy you know that and that was really my path Uh, my whole life I always thought it'd be fun to do cartoons Mm -hmm. you know I always thought that would that was an aspect of acting that I thought was really great and so um I moved out to LA I did a little of this and a little of that I worked for the Disney Cruise Line I did some commercials I did some movies and I ran into a guy by the name of Jeff Nimoy, uh, which you might know Jeff. He's a director. He directed uh, Digimon. Nice. And, and so, uh, yeah, he did the series, and then he did, like, a couple of the movies and stuff. And so, basically, I'll make this story short because it can go on and on. <laughs> but, so I ran, he was a friend of a friend of mine. And um, so, so Jeff Nimoy, I run into him at a party and he tells me what he does. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's great. Is there any way I could ever audition for something like that? Mm -hmm. And he goes, have you ever done dubbing before? And I said, no. (laughs) And he goes, "Ah, I can't use you. Forget it. Forget it. It's too much. It's a a lot. And way back then when I was doing, this is around 2001, Mm -hmm. um, they didn't have this little thing called Pro Tools. Mm-hmm. Um, so when you did anime, so it was already done in Japan, and they, you were just providing the English sort of replacement, right? right? That's what ADR is, mm-hmm. Engl- uh, uh, audio replacement recording. So um, the uh, digital, I don't know, figure out the letters. Anyway, <laughs> It's, uh, it's it's dub is you know just replacing the voice yeah and uh, but in in those days like if you had a three second lo- you know line it had to be three seconds and you had to hit it mm-hmm. and that you would just do it again and again oh, and geez. again until you got it so the there were people that were really good at it and it was a skill mm-hmm. like you had to learn that skill and I, I'm glad that I learned it that way because it, it was incredibly difficult and uh, but anyway b- basically Jeff didn't want to take me on because it's like anytime you have to train somebody new it's such a laborious uh, you know process to train somebody yeah so that you like know <laughs> the difference between three seconds and five seconds yeah. right so but the point is, he had an audition for Digimon the movie, mm-hmm. and uh, my friend, the mutual friend that we knew, he got called in for this. And so I called up Jeff Nimoy, and I said, hey, Jeff, you called in John, and he's had no dubbing experience. <laughs> yeah. What's What the hell? And he goes, uh, fine, I'll let you audition. <laughs> okay, great. So I go in and I audition and the producers liked me a lot. And then, of course, they asked me, have you ever done ADR work before? Mm -hmm. And I said, no, I had not. I was honest. And that's what most actors should do. I know there's a lot of people that say, if it says ride, you can ride a horse. Yes, I can ride a horse. (laughs) Well, if you show up on set and you can't ride a horse. Whatever you want me to do. (laughs) No, no, but you're going to get fired. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. And then they're never going to cast you again mm-hmm. because you said you could ride a horse and you couldn't ride a horse. Mm-hmm. So they, when they say they need you to have a specific skill, you have to be careful about what you lie about. Right. But mm-hmm. um, so anyway, uh, 
so they said, well, we can't cast you for the movie because this is it's too much to like bring in a new person for this. Uh, we got to get this thing done. But we'd like to have you do a couple Digimon episodes and see if you can get up to speed and if you're somebody that we can use. Mm-hmm. And I was like, great. So, uh, of course, they assigned me to Jeff Nimoy, which he was not happy about. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> And uh, I did a couple episodes of Digimon as a character named Michael. And Michael was the American cousin. And he was from New York. And he was a little, like, stuck up. And he thought he was better than everybody else. And that was sort of his <laughs> voice. And, um, and I did, like, three or four episodes as Michael. And, and that was the beginning. And then Sab- Saban called me. The, the, they were producing Digimon at the time. And they called me to do a show called Shinzo. Mm-hmm. And that was my first sort of like leading role. And basically they said it like this. They go, we're going to put you with this voice director. Michael Sorch is his name. And uh, if he doesn't get you up to speed in three episodes, we're just going to cast somebody else. Yikes. So, <laughs> That's pressure. Uh, so I went. Yeah, it was a lot of pressure because I was the lead in the show. So they were like, you know, they can't mess around. So they brought me in and worked with Michael. Michael's a great teacher. He's awesome. And if you look up his credits, he's just done a ton of stuff. Mm -hmm. And very funny guy. He's a super funny guy. Almost too funny because he gets going like doing bits in the booth. And I'm at that time, it was like how many lines per minute you can do. Mm -hmm. Right. That was the whole thing or how many lines per loops per hour, right? That's what they were really concerned about. Mm -hmm. And if you couldn't get it to a number that was acceptable, you're gone. So (laughs) it was like, uh, Michael, less jokes. I got to get these loops. I got to get this because it's going to look, it's going to look bad if I'm not getting up to the right speed. And he's like, ah, don't worry about it. We'll be fine. (laughs) So episode four comes along and nobody says anything. Episode five, you know, six, seven. So I went, I guess I'm not getting fired. (laughs) So, Well, that's that's a good thing. I made it. (laughs) Yeah. So I made it to the whole 32 episodes of that show. And then I just went from, you know, little show here, little show there, just kind of bounced around. And then eventually when um, Naruto came up, which was, I think, 2005, Mm -hmm. um, they were just they were they called in, I think, every voice actor in Los Angeles. And yeah. and they just had you come in and, and read. And so they gave you, they had all these scripts lined up and then they had all the books and, you know, the tchotchkes and stuff. And I was like, oh, I guess this show is kind of big. <laughs> 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 might, this might be a big, and they're like, oh yeah, it's super popular. This is super, this is going to catch fire, mm-hmm. you know? And we're okay, great. And so they said, pick three scripts, come in and audition. So I picked Shikamaru. I picked Naruto, obviously, because he was the lead of the show. Right. And I picked Choji. Those were the three scripts. Interesting. You know, they had like everybody, everybody lined, you know, Neji, Sasuke, and nobody knew who was what or what they did, mm-hmm. you know, other than Naruto was the lead. Yeah. That was all all we knew so uh, i just went in and my take on shikamaru was sort of a um surfer dude <laughs> surfer dude what and uh but you know i didn't want to go full bill and ted's excellent adventure so yeah. i kind of pulled it back a little bit and uh and that's where i ended up with and i thought that's a weird character I, i've never played the cool guy before i'm usually like the naruto character which is the come on everybody let's get together and we can beat this thing you know i do those voices and um uh so so i so i ended up getting called in for shikamaru and i remember i couldn't even say his name they kept saying you know you're playing this character i'm like what's the name of the character (laughs) shikamaru shikamaru (laughs) yeah Shikam- and I'm like, thank God I don't have to say my own name. That's <laughs> right. the, you know, I, I say, hey, Choji, how are you doing? Hey, Naruto, how are you? You know, I don't have to say uh-huh. I'm Shikamaru. I'm Shikamaru Nara and I'm here to stay. <laughs> like, like rarely do they <laughs> announce themselves. Right. So but eventually I wrote it off phonetically and I, rem- you know, kind of bur- burned it into my head. Mm-hmm. And then uh, th- it was easier to, to remember. And even now I started doing TikToks just recently, uh, just got on that bandwagon. And I had a whole discussion break out because of the fact that I, I say my name wrong. <laughs> well, that's interesting. That's a me move right there. I do that all the time. I'm so yeah. bad with pronunciation. It's almost unreal. But, but I'm so like, 
you know, I don't, I don't get offended by stuff like that. Like the guy, the kid that first said it was like, he says it wrong. You know, he's putting too much emphasis on this. And I, and they, and then there was a whole debate about, well, he's from Minnesota. So you're, you're hearing the Midwestern, the way he says the, Ooh, he's kind of making it, an, uh, uh-huh. and <laughs> I'm like, I'm watching this going, Oh, I'm so embarrassed. But then I go, <laughs> you know what? Uh, you're right. I probably do say it wrong, but I never say it in the show. And just to let you guys know, I'm going to probably say it wrong again. So <laughs> here we go. We could we could move on, or we it. can stay. Yeah. So it's. I think it's technically it's supposed to be Shikamaru, mm-hmm. Shikamaru, Nara. But I say it so fast, and I'm from the Midwest, so I go Shikamara Nara. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where'd the you go? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. So now everybody, everybody that's hearing this is going to be like, oh yeah, he says it all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because TikTok is really how I found you and how I like got to know you uh, as a voice actor. Of course, I was familiar with your work on uh, on Naruto as Shikamaru, but that's when I first saw you, and that's how this all came uh, came to happen. Um, so that, that that's an amazing story. Uh, talk, talk to you. Do you want to do you want to ask him something? Well, he kind of answered a lot of our questions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just let me keep talking, and I'll tell you those. <laughs> I can tell you. <laughs> Uh, I can tell you kind of how the whole TikTok thing started, if you want. Yeah, sure. Um, I was going to ask you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that works. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Uh, again, my short stories are long stories, and I never shut up. But <laughs> so, so Miley Flanagan, who plays Naruto, yes. she called me up, and she said, hey, we're going to do this signing online because of the COVID. Uh, this, uh, w- they're doing these things where you can do signings of autographs. And now I haven't done a ton of that stuff and when i did i did it like 10 years ago and because basically if you're going to do a convention and you're going to get a guest you're going to get miley Mm -hmm. right or you're going to get sasuke or you're going to get sakura and then by the time you get to shikamaru unless it's a naruto themed event Mm -hmm. forget it you know Mm -hmm. (laughs) like if they can get miley they're going to get miley and then they're going to get somebody from you know uh uh one piece or you know one of the other shows mm-hmm. right the big you know, try and get a different fan base right they're going to try and spread it out so i i didn't do a ton of that stuff and so i didn't have anything to sign or anything anyway so again i'm making the story way longer um <laughs> she got me signed up we did this online um naruto panel thing and then there was a signing and i got some you know shots made up that i could sign my name mm-hmm. and i didn't think i would sell any of them i thought you know i don't know i'm i'm sure i'm somebody's favorite character but it's like in that show and let me, this is a, a tribute to the show there's 30 favorite characters mm-hmm. right so when a kid comes up to me and goes you're my seventh favorite character my in the show, seventh it's favorite. like yeah well it's a great show you know so i don't take an insult to that yeah. at all i go i know right so like mostly it's like i get uh, you're my third favorite character or my fourth or something and i'm like yeah absolutely i totally get it uh because you look at the characters of that show you know neji and um choji and uh rock lee and naruto i mean you you can pick one and go and run with it like Mm -hmm. oh i know that kid you know and i think it's because they appeal to all the different types of people we know and went to high school with right that's they, they, those are kids we know. And so I think different people identify with different characters. So uh, anyway, long, again, like I said, long story short. <laughs> <laughs> um, Instagram, I, I had to start Instagram to do this signing because they their thing was to do live signings on Instagram. So I begrudgingly started an Instagram account. And then that first event, which was about a year ago, I sold 25 things. And I was like, Holy moly, I sold 25 things. This is great. It covered my cost to get the printing done. I was like, nice. oh, that was great. That was nice. And I gave part of it to charity. And, you know, and I was like, oh, this is it's kind of a neat thing, especially with COVID. And we weren't going anywhere or doing anything. And it was like, oh, I can sit here. And I was still recording, by the way. I was still recording Boruto. We've been recording through the whole pandemic. Mm-hmm. But when you think about it, the recording studio is like the safest place you can be. Um, I'm going off topic here, but it's like you go in, you don't deal with anybody. They put you in a booth. You're behind a glass wall. Everything's cleaned. You leave. They let it sit for an hour. They clean it. And then the next person comes in. So it's like it's perfect. Yeah. It's the perfect way to you know be active in the entertainment industry and not worry about your infection rate or mm-hmm, whatever. Mm-hmm. And we got tested before we go into the studio, stuff like that. Um, 
neither here nor there. So I started playing around on Instagram and I had a couple of followers and, and I did, people would ask me questions and I'd go, sure. Cause I was bored. I had nothing to do. I'll just reply back, which Miley goes, Oh, never reply. <laughs> <laughs> the first rule of social media. <laughs> yeah. Do not do DMS. Do <laughs> never do DMS. And, and I was like, yeah, whatever. And so then I started, cause there's a little record button on Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. So they'd say like, Hey, it's my birthday. And I'd go, happy birthday. You know, dumb dude, 22, uh, <laughs> bir birthdays are such a drag. <laughs> and I would just keep it. I just keep it real simple. And I would just go like that. And I was doing those. And then one kid wanted me to say something sort of off color. Mm -hmm. Um, a little bit, um, uh, it wasn't bad. It was like, and I don't know what your level of, but it was like poo poo caca, something like that. <laughs> and so, so as a joke, I went, I just replied back to him and I said, Ah, oh, dude, you're trying to get me to say poo poo caca? Well, forget it. I'm not going to say it. I will not say poo poo caca in any way, shape, or form. I think it's kind of rude. And then, and then of course, they took that and put it on TikTok. Mm -hmm. And the next thing I know, I'm just living my life, mm -hmm. right? And all of a sudden, I'm just like, my DMs just blow up on Instagram. <laughs> I'm like, what the, what the, what? Like, I, I would have five a day, and now I've got 99 plus. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It just says 99 plus. And people asking me to say all sorts of weird mm -hmm. stuff. I'm like, where is this coming yeah. from? And my numbers start going up. And so it got so bad, I couldn't reply to people, mm -hmm. right, on the DM. So my wife said, you need to get on Cameo. And I was like, I, nobody's going to want to pay to have me do a greeting. It's not, you know, I mean, maybe Miley they would do that, but I don't know, you know. And um, and she goes, you, you got all these people asking for requests. Start a Cameo. So I started Cameo. And then I started doing these videos mm -hmm. and where it was like happy birthday or whatever. Anyway, there was a guy that purchased one early on and his name is Nito the Nerd. And, uh, and, and he was, he's an awesome, a cosplayer. And I think what he put in his script was like, can you just say that uh, uh, Nito the Nerd is the best awesome, a cosplayer ever, right? So I do my little video and then I, <clears throat> but I start to ad lib and this is part of my, I think my improv training. And because I can do Shikamaru all day long. I could do this whole interview as Shikamaru Nara. And, you know, I don't need a script. I just know him so well. Uh -huh. And I can just basically say, just speak in his voice. So I was like going, uh, you know, Nito the Nerd is the best awesome uh, cosplayer I've ever seen. I mean, he's so good. It makes me think of awesome. And, um... I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> and, I, crying. and I was like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, I, I can't do this anymore. You know, and so I just did that. And I thought it was funny. Mm -hmm. Right. And it is funny, I think. And I probably even did it better then than I, than I'm displaying it now. Well, he, he put that on TikTok, And then the next thing I heard, uh, we got a call from my wife's nephew and he said, Hey, do you know Uncle Tom is going viral on TikTok? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not even on TikTok. I don't even know what that means, uh -huh. you know? And um, so I go to TikTok and of course I create an account. This was like April. Mm -hmm. And it was just blowing up. So I like I think I let it go for about a week and then I did my first video. And I on the first video, I think I got like 500,000 views yeah, it like can happen quick. immediately. It can happen quick. Yeah. yeah. And then <laughs> as far as followers go, I just crossed 500K like two weeks ago. That's amazing. So since April, and it's been crazy. And I, I, the part of it is I, I reply. And then I, the, my favorite thing is the questions and answers. Because mm -hmm. people will ask me questions and then I'll answer it as Shikamaro. Yeah. And a lot of them are like funny kind of improv yeah. thing. Like mm -hmm. the, one, the one that kind of, hooked it that kind of really pushed it over was somebody asked me who was my uh favorite akatsuki mm -hmm. and i said i said f those guys they killed awesome 
<laughs> and of course, I know the fans love the Akatsuki, right? You know, so I'm like, I am batting the beehive here. Mm-hmm. But what I got back was that is exactly what Shikamaru would that say. That is true. Right? Mm-hmm. He, that's exactly what he would say. Screw those guys. We're done with them. You know, they were, they're, you know, they're murderers and terrorists, right? Mm-hmm. Even though we know right now that they have a more complex backstory than than that yeah right but but at the time or even in from shikamaro's point of view he didn't care they 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 killed he has a one try anyway i got a little in trouble for that because people were like hey spoiler alert you know asuma's dead oh <laughs> man I'm just I, go, I looked it up i looked it up and i go asuma died in 2011 yeah, it's been so long. You know, I don't think we can say we need to say spoiler alert no, on no, something no. that happened ten years ago, and uh, so it was that was funny, and we had a lot of fun with that, and it was just like so I've just been having fun with it and just trying to see where it will go. The big thing now is I'm trying to get verified, but I don't. Hey, uh, same here. Chris same. knows that. Chris I know knows that. <laughs> on Instagram, they give you at least an application for yeah, it. Yeah, TikTok, yeah, they don't. Like, no, no. It's so funny. Yeah. So all you, all you anime fans, I'm trying to start a hashtag verify the Naruto cast because, oh, I should tell you, I got Miley to join um, TikTok. I got um, Yuri Lowenthal, who is uh, Sasuke, to join TikTok. Nice. And Tara Platt, who plays Tamari, to join TikTok. So the, and then I did videos with all of them. So if you want to go to my TikTok, uh, the real Tom Gibbons. I just follow. Uh, you can watch all these you can watch all these videos and uh and they're quick and i and most of the time i'm just having fun or it's like if somebody just says say this line i'll say this line so i redo the lines from the show i don't do anything uh i've kind of made it a rule myself like i try not to say anything too crass uh a lot of uh, the fans are younger but i also have fans that are like in their 30s you know Mm -hmm. um it's funny on cameo i've been getting guys that were like yeah i've just finished my second deployment overseas and you know can you uh you know wish me a happy or you know it'll be like the wife saying wish him a happy tour of duty or something and i'm like holy moly this guy's you know in the navy and i'm doing this you know thing for him yeah. and, but it's like he grew up on he, they grew up on naruto they love shikamaru and i just like it's so it's so humbling in a way it's just like gosh and the fans are so great and my whole thing is uh, i try and make it all you know peace and love and kumbaya and not too much where it's sickening like that but like people come in and they'll say oh i only watch the sub i don't watch the dub mm-hmm. you know and i'm like <laughs> okay good for you i'm glad that that's something you enjoy but you know if you want to talk about the character i can talk about the character too even though it's in a different language but that's great but these people are here to talk about dub and you can you can go somewhere else you don't feel the need to comment on everything mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah the dub like the nobody dub wants to hear that yeah. here so let's be honest i watch yeah, dub good, dub and good sub for are you. both great i'll be, I'll be honest with you dub and yeah, sub are that's, both great that's 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 the way to look at it. First of all, we're such a subculture anime in general. It's like, dude, we, we, don't, we shouldn't be fighting at all. It should just be like, you know, great. Good for you. It's, you know, it's, it's oh, like girls console do, wars. Girls do cosplay. Girls do cosplay. That's some big controversy. So what? Great. Good for them. It's fantastic. All of it's I'm great. And if you don't like it, just <laughs> yeah, move, <laughs> yeah, move on to something else, you know? It's, you know, there's enough stuff out there that you can find exactly what you like and makes you happy. And that's fine. And I'm not going to criticize that stuff. So, um, you know, that, that, so I just try and keep it all positive. That, that's the whole, uh, crux to that biscuit is I just like to keep everything positive and, you know, who knows now, now I say that you guys will catch me. Boy, he bitched that guy out. <laughs> I can, can I ask I can, you a question? Yeah, go ahead. Talk yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Can, can you can you can you say a line for me if I were to ask you to say it? <laughs> sure. All right. Can you say Naruto? You sussy baka. Hold the on, shadow hold clones on. are such hold a on. drag. Hold on. Uh, I was gonna say. See, I had that in writing. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you want me to say it yeah. again for you? I, I no, no. I was going to not spoil the surprise. That's what I was trying to stop you in mid sentence. <laughs> oh. No. All right. Okay. I will say it for you. Uh, I do avoid this kind of stuff because. Listen, I'm an old man, and I don't know what sussy baka means. <laughs> so I, I, every once in a while I go, is this something bad? No, I promise it's nothing bad. It's, it's nothing bad. not but, bad. Well, I looked it up because I know sussy is suspect yes, and baka yes. is like an idiot yes, or yes, something. Yes, right? Exactly. Yeah. 
So <clears throat> I, it's not so bad, but I still like because that they were trolling me in the beginning, not necessarily trolling, but like let's see if we can get them to say this. Oh, right, and I right. got I, I got burned a couple times, but then I kind of figured it out and I was like, oh yeah, that's what they're. <laughs> uh, I promise you, this is nothing bad. This is nothing bad. You don't have to. So we won't make you say it if you don't want to say it. <laughs> so if. If the audience, if you guys ever hear me say anything bad, I was probably tricked in. Okay, that's <laughs> <Yes>. all. <I'm> <laughs> <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> whatever. What a drag. That's how I get into it. Mm-hmm. Naruto, you sussy baka. Your shadow clones are such a drag. <laughs> oh, man. That was oh, my God. Here, I got to give you a round of applause for that one. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. <laughs> I'll be here all week. Thank you. <laughs> Tip your bartenders and waitresses. All right. Give me a round of applause. <laughs> yeah, thank Tom you Gibbis. so much, Tom. Yes. Thank you so much, Tom. We're going to move you back to the audience now. You can leave if you want. I think I cut him off. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh that's so horrible. I, I, I cut I cut. Sh- however <laughs> you pronounce it no, but, yeah but thank you so much Tom. that that was that was fantastic <clears throat> for sure for sure so well, fun hearing him like just suddenly switch into shikamaru <laughs> That's I, I, when he said sussy buck i lost it <laughs> yeah, i, I lost too. it so i was funny. on the cry to mute my mic because i was laughing i was wheezing <laughs> <laughs> all right let's awesome. get in today's ad break <laughs> hey, oh my here we go. Over here. A piece of voice acting. Okay. It is I, All Might, coming at you here at Late Night Weeds once again. And I know that I'm pretty sussy myself. <laughs> and Tom, not gonna lie, that was kinda hot. <laughs> but, all right, all right, let me take over. All right, all right, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it this simple. I'm not gonna let All Might talk this time because we're gonna try to make it a little bit shorter because <clears throat> things were going pretty wild um definitely check out tom tom needs that help definitely check out spotify itunes youtube whether it's and tiktok instagram toxic g065 for me it's king chris for chris uh at the real tom uh gibbous tom gibbous, tom gibbous my bad forgot your last name but um know that <clears throat> we all love you we all want you guys to check us out all three of us We all care for each and every single one of you. And remember, stay happy, stay safe. And most of all, if she's old enough to cross the street, she's old enough to get the meat. Oh my goodness. I I don't know if we can support All right, 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 Nope. All right. So you ready for this? Yes. Do you want to take Do you want to take over the first topic, or do you want me to take over the first? Topic? Uh, I I can take it. I can take it. All right. I got you. Um. Got you. So, uh, for the first piece of news, um, so the uh Olympics have been going on in Japan, and Attack on Titan, Haikyuu, and other animes, ha- uh, anime openings have been playing during those competitions. Um, so during introductions and matches, anime themes have been playing. One of them was, for example, a volleyball match between Japan and Venezuela, where the Haikyuu theme song Imagination was played. Uh, then a mixed team archery, the Attack on Titan opening, Gurren no Yumiya was playing. And then during Equestrian, which is uh, a form of horse- horseback riding, they actually played Bluebird from Naruto. So it's really fun that... Um, First of all, it's amazing that these Olympics are taking place in Japan, um, which is obviously the heart of anime, but also that they're paying tribute to the anime culture by playing these anime openings. Toxic, have you actually seen some clips of them? Nope. Like, you've not, it's so funny. Like, you, you nope. literally have like these athletes just lining up, and then all of a the sudden they're playing like Haikyuu, and like the crowd goes <laughs> wild. And like, I, I don't even know if the athletes just, know the I, theme like, song. I watched like five seconds, I was like, okay. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a big sports watch I'm gonna be honest with you <laughs> but, it, but it's amazing I, I got goosebumps when they started playing those those anime openings it's so funny like <laughs> y- imagine just during during like do sprinting they suddenly play like Naruto like I'm, I'm gonna lose my mind they're gonna um, start Naruto <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. Someone <laughs> starts now to <laughs> they, they start winning. That you start seeing them disappear and appear in random places. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to uh, take the next story? All right, my bleach fans. I know that I we have a lot of bleach fans here because I see every t- every time there's a uh, episode of this posted on YouTube. There's always one Bleach fan, and I, I love you guys. I mean, it was a hard anime for me to watch. I was on and off with it, but I have some great news. Bleach is returning with a new special chapter soon for the manga for its uh, 20th anniversary in uh, Shonen Jump. <clears throat> it's a one-shot chapter with uh, 73 pages, and it's coming sometime this year. And it's going to come... It's, it's also going to kick off with the anime reveal, but we're going to get some more details on it, so... I'm definitely hype. I hope all my Bleach fans out there are hype because holy, things are getting real. Like, I'm not even joking with you. <laughs> it's crazy. <clears throat> Bleach has been gone for so long. Like, <clears throat> for real. I think it's been like four or five years. And they have already, years. yeah, they've been teasing, like, okay, we're going to bring Bleach back probably, but there was like no real news about it. And now we got this. And it's actually mm-hmm. coming really soon. It's actually coming on August 10th. So on August 10th, we're getting a brand new Bleach chapter, which is, Ooh. I mean, 73 pages is a lot. Like a, a normal chapter is what, like 18 to 20 pages. This is going to mm-hmm. be like three to four chapters in one. Man, that's awesome. I, I cannot wait for Bleach to come back. It used to be so big and it just disappeared. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Of course. All right. um, so should I take, you want to take over this next topic? Yes, I can take the next topic, which is also super exciting. So For real. the new Dragon Ball Super anime film reveals uh, its, its title and a new teaser. So the title being Dragon Ball Super Superhero. And during the San Diego Comic-Con virtual event, Toei announced basically just the title and gave us also a new teaser featuring Goku warming up which lets us all know it's gonna get serious in this movie uh, the release is set uh, to be in 2022 which will basically be exactly four years after the last Dragon Ball Super movie which was obviously Broly and the staff teased that the film will, will use new technology to display visual expressions toxic are you excited for the new dragon ball super movie okay i'm gonna be honest with you i i am not a dragon ball fan but i watched That's the broly okay. movie and i'm not gonna lie that was that it was, was amazing, fire was it not that was <laughs> that fire was so, good. so if this looks good i i'm definitely gonna watch it yeah yeah yeah. Like, These honestly, dragon ball i'm not gonna lie i love the dubbed actor of, of goku like i'm not even joking with you i love i don't know why there's something about him mm-hmm. <clears throat> no it's awesome but, um, um, yeah, do you want to take the last take, story for me to take this? All right, sure. boys, boys, girls, whatever you are, I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want to, I know there's a lot of controversies where if okay. I say men and girl, you know, just the vibes, I'm not trying to get any of you guys over, <laughs> oh my God. but, um, anyways, um, we have great Pokemon news. All right. So Pokemon, I know you guys are like, oh, it's such a kid show. So for those who watched Pokemon um, Detective Pikachu, we are getting a live action Pokemon on Netflix. And honestly, I'm really hyped for it because I think that the live action of Pokemon, the Detective Pikachu, I think it was actually good. Like, I'm not even joking you. I liked it. And if if they make it how it was like the movie, I, I think it's going to be really good. And I think it's going to be really freaking awesome. We have no we have no information about it though. All we know is it's happening. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be like, whoo, gonna be interesting for sure. There that that brings very, us like a whole series. Um, but very yeah, interesting. As you just said, we we unfortunately don't have any information, but we will keep you up to date as soon as new information drops. Should we get into birthdays? Whoo! Why, hello everybody! <laughs> it is I! Nobody, I'm just toxic, alright. Happy birthday to some three great people you all know and love. We got Vermilion from Black Clover, you know, that that beautiful, amazing ginger with who, who, who just scares the shit out of everybody. Um, we have Yugi from Yu-Gi-Oh, the guy who's like... 
Anyways, anyways, anyways. And of course, my personal favorite, Melly Otis's birthday. Like, oh. holy... Melly Otis? Like, I would kiss him. I, I would kiss Melly Otis okay. if I can, Chris. Like, he makes me bite my lip harder than you bite your lip. Whoa. And that's, that's hard. That's pretty hard. But happy birthday to each and every one. There's a whole bunch more that we could say. But I'm just going to say happy birthday to those three main characters that everybody knows and loves. Happy birthday to them from me to you, from Chris to you. Bite my lip for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> all right, all right. <clears throat> you anything you have to say to them? Uh, no, just uh, it's time to do, 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 do well and full counter. That's all I have okay. to say to those. Those were the cringiest pickup lines I've ever heard, Chris. Wait, I was just in Yugi Meliodas. What do you mean? Yeah, I, those were I, I can I can totally pick up somebody. I will pick you up. I'm, I'm just like Tom said. I'm gonna pick you up and throw you into the water like you're a pebble. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't think that's Is what that okay? he said. I don't think that's what he meant. It. <laughs> that's exactly what he meant. I'm not. He said, "Pick up what you wanna do <laughs> Wait, and you wanna throw do it in me? the river." I'm gonna. Oh, oh my, what the. F I mean, well, that's what you just said. Okay, okay, okay. okay. You just want to move into these Actually, scary Yeah, that's a pretty good transition for the fan <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, listen. <laughs> so, today we actually have a brand new segment. I don't know if this is going to be a regular thing, but we have it right now. I just uh, actually realized that I don't know if I'll be able to re read this first one. No. Oh, because because of... we're in a public because we're in a public podcast. Oh, do you just want to take like the second story you picked? Mm, yeah. Okay. Trying to make sure it's not your the one that you picked was not um NSFW. Yeah, no, it should be fine. So, uh, for the fan fictions, we asked you boys and girls here on Discord to write a piece of fan fiction about me and Toxic. Um, and I did not expect so many of you to go out <laughs> and what? actually oh, write these, to read this one. <laughs> actually write these stories. <laughs> uh, these kind of went out of hand. Initially, I just wanted to pick one, but there were so many. So Toxic and I, uh, we each picked two. But I guess Toxic's one is a little NSFW. So uh, uh, listen, we, I'm gonna shout out the person. The person who made it was Nagato. I don't know if he's here right now, but Nagato's was really good, and I and I laughed at yours. <laughs> if we weren't on a if like if we weren't on a live one right now, like I would read it. Maybe you can read it but, afterwards but in like a private. Yeah, we could do that if you if you really want. Yeah. <clears throat> but um, um. Oh geez, should I just go ahead and and read the first one? Go right into it, Chris. Go oh, right God. into it. Okay, so the first story is from one of our moderators here on Discord. His name is Arctic. And the title is A Sussy Nightmare. <laughs> are, you, are you ready, Toxic? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's, 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 just, let's just get into it. <clears throat> Wait, let me, let me quickly drink. I'm going to need a drink after this one, too. All right. <clears throat> Just let me get into it first. It was a typical Thursday night. I was listening to the late night weeps. Things were pretty chill, but I was getting a bit sleepy. My eyes were getting so heavy and I started feeling tired. Next thing I remember, I was standing in a backyard. It was familiar. As I heard a faded voice behind me saying, <clears throat> Will you marry me, you sussy papaka? <laughs> I turn around just to see Toxic G holding a ring in his hand, kneeling to some handsome guy with a sussy look on his face. I couldn't believe my eyes. It's them! I drop my jaw in shock as I just realized I landed on King Chris's backyard. It was a bit awkward because I just interrupted Toxic G's proposal. <laughs> they gave me the awkward look back as soon as they noticed me grabbing my limited edition Chris Chris X Toxic G Boko no Pico body pillow. <laughs> the awkward silence didn't last as we were interrupted by yet another sussy baka standing over the fence looking at our feet and moaning Oh my god, so many toes <laughs> looking crazy and very out of control. <laughs> uh, Toxic quickly grabs Toxic's hand 
Toxic blushes. Chris, Chris grabs Toxic's hand. Oh, Chris quickly grabs Toxic's hand. Toxic blushes and shouts, You two! You two run! <laughs> Come inside! You have to put them on! <laughs> it's the legendary Big Bubba's and he's here to suck our toes. <laughs> I've got socks and we have to put them on. <laughs> we rush inside and Chris takes us to his room, closing the door behind us. Toxic runs straight to the sock drawer <laughs> like he already knew where they were. I take a quick look at Chris and he looks away, blushing. <laughs> we all start wearing them, but Bubba's breaks in. <laughs> I only got to wear one sock because I was holding my body pillow. I try to escape through the window, but I feel something grabbing my foot, losing my balance, and both me and Bubba's fall out of the window. I wake up startled. It's Friday, 6.09 a.m. It was just a dream. I am so relieved. So I get up, notice that I'm only wearing one sock. I sigh, man, my toes are hurting so bad. And suddenly, three voices coming from the hallway whisper, did you say toes? toes. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking lost it at the whole part where he's like, my limited edition Chris Toxic G Boko no Pico body pillow. <laughs> <laughs> man shout out to arctic that was i love the details in this story <laughs> that was amazing that was amazing do you want me to take the second one or do you want to read the second one too then i'll go last um you. no you you uh read the the story you picked um all right the the last <laughs> one <laughs> i lost it last night reading <laughs> God, I love you for this. <laughs> this is this story is by um Gone. He's in here right now, and it's called the Sussy Stalker. <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna lean back for this. <laughs> You're gonna fall off your chair if you <laughs> lean back. I'm telling you right now. All right. <clears throat> Toxic and Chris were best friends for about a few months, but Toxic had a thing for Chris. But there was one problem. Chris was already dating. Swag Tachi. That night, Toxic planned to get revenge on Swag Tachi for stealing my man. Toxic planned to sneak into Swag Tachi's house and throw him to another world. That night, Chris walked home with Toxic, and Toxic caught the magic school bus to Swa Swag Tachi's house, <laughs> snuck through the window, and tiptoed to his closet. Swag Tachi knew Toxic was in there because he had gone ultra instinct. He opened the door and says, Toxic! You sneaky little bucka! <laughs> Toxic runs out of the house in terror, but then looks back and walks into uh, walks into the house, only to snap Swag Tachi's neck in his sleep. He leaves the house the next morning. Chris and Toxic watch the news. Chris finds out Swag Tachi died and started crying to Toxic. Says, <laughs> Pain is temporary, <laughs> but trip is forever. <laughs> Chris starts st or stops crying. And he gets up and smiles at Toxic in a creepy way. Chris takes Toxic's hand and kisses him and walks Oh away. my god. <laughs> they both get on the magic school bus without saying a word. Toxic blushed at Chris. Chris took off his shoes and Toxic started to suck on his... Oh my god. <laughs> one reading? of the bus drivers seen and was going to tell the principal. <laughs> so later that day, Toxic stole the magic school bus and ran over the bus driver. Then Dora the Explorer cleaned up the body and got rid of all traces of the bus driver. Toxic tipped her $50 for the job, and they started to become closer as they shared their first kiss at the Swag Festival in the Land of Drip. After they moved into the Land of, uh, into the land of Drip, Chris became pregnant with a baby. What? A ba <laughs> pregnant with a baby boy named Tisoka. And a girl named so so Nah. And he put them up for adoption like what? the deadbeat dad you are, Chris. And then they and they try to and they and then they end up sucking Gon's toes in the end. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs>
I lost it when you got pregnant. I, I really lost it last How night. How did I suddenly get pregnant? What what the hell is I don't know. Things here? just took a turn, Chris. Things just took a turn. Man, somebody needs to animate these. <laughs> Dude, if someone if there's animators here and they can animate that, I will I will shit myself laughing. Like <laughs> not even joking with you. <laughs> Oh that my god. That would be god. the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. These are cra- I I do not know how people come up with these. I mean, these are just I can I can I can recognize a pattern here which is always toes. Um that seems to be like the the common denominator here. Um but let's see if toes are being mentioned in the last story which is uh from a girl in here. Her name is Daddy. Well, her actual name is not Daddy, but he she calls herself Daddy. And, Even though I'm uh, daddy. Okay. And I actually don't know if this, this story has a name. If it does, I'm sorry. I didn't write it down. But I'm just, just going to... that I'm the real daddy. I'm just going to get into it. Um, oh, God. Okay. Um, <laughs> Chris was a new TikTok star. He had slowly gotten famous... And over time, he attracted the eyes of a very sexy man. But he went, uh, that went by the name Toxic G. Toxic fell madly in love with him. Each video came out and um, made him think, wow, he would look good next to me in my, in my bed. <laughs> so after a year, he finally tracked Chris down and soon found him. And over the past few months, after stalking him, he finally came clean uh, after Chris found him in his closet, sniffing his clothes for whatever reason. Um, Chris found that attractive, but he uh, but also was skeptical and weirded out at what Toxic was doing to his worn clothes because he's never seen him before. What are you doing in my house and why are you here? Chris says startled. Toxic slowly gets out of his closet as Chris backs away. Toxic runs out of the house, scared and worried, but also happy because he saw him face to face as, um, oh, uh, because he saw him face to face. As weeks go by, Chris notices clean dishes, clean laundry, <laughs> and newly bought groceries. Toxic, are you like a house elf? <laughs> what the hell is going on? He finally finds shelf. out. Woo! He finally finds out that Toxic is living in his attic, and he is looking around at where he has been sleeping. Toxic comes out of nowhere and backs him up against the wall. Oh God! And Toxic whispers in his ear. You, you can take that line. <laughs> 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 hey Chris. Oh Chris. Oh God. Can I be your boco? Can I be your boco to your pico? I'm uh. eating ice cream. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Chris has nothing to say because of how shocked he is. Correct. Uh, and what he just heard. But surprisingly, Chris agrees, and they passionately oh. make out. And each day they spend more time with each other, the sussier they get. Coming up with nicknames or rather starting our life together. Well, you sussy barker, says Chris. You have such... Oh my... I cannot read... Okay, wait, wait. <clears throat> Say, Chris, tell me! Well, you sussy barker, says Chris. You have such nice thighs, <laughs> he says. Ooh, as he makes toxic <laughs> <laughs> Toxic says nervously. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, Toxic says nervously. Oh, well, Chris, you have a nice buttock. <laughs> nice buttocks. <laughs> I can't. I fucking can't. <laughs> he says, making Chris blush. And over time, as they get closer together over the years. <laughs> Uh, they end up getting married, and years later, they ended up making an OnlyFans together, becoming yes. number one on the charts. Yo. And after retiring after a few years, they adopted a kid who ended up liking Toes. I knew Toes would be in here. I knew Toes would be in here somewhere. You just had to squeeze in the Toes <laughs> reference. 
<laughs> Yo, the fact that I just said I, you have a nice ass makes me laugh and shit myself. <laughs> oh my god, what is, <laughs> what is this? Hey, yo, Chris, so you think my thighs are nice? <laughs> I, I mean... <sighs> Wait, what the f***? Hey, yo, huh? hey, I mean, I'm not lying about your ass. Okay, well... Don't make me pull up swag. No, 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 it's okay. Um, oh, I don't, I don't, oh Jesus Christ. I don't know if we can do this again. But yeah, shout out to everybody who wrote these stories. Um, I, I'm very impressed and disturbed. Um, but, I don't yeah. know how to feel, honestly. I really don't know how to feel. <laughs> but I guess, I mean, this, this ends today's episode. Um... Thank, um, uh, yeah, again, da shout out to Daddy, Arctic, Gon, uh, Nagato, and everybody who participated and wrote fan fictions. Um, those were honestly amazing. Thank you so much. And Toxic, uh, would you like honestly, to um, remember? Lead us out. <clears throat> Here we go. Get, let's get sad again. Remember, boys. Okay. We worked hard on today's episode. This was the longest episode we have. YouTube Squad? I want to see more comments, all right? Last video was a little iffy. We didn't have a lot of comments. Comments help. Comments make me happy. They make Chris happy. <laughs> Tell people how you feel about us being so sussy. <laughs> Tell people in chat that, hey, this is cool. Share this with your friends, your family. I'm not even joking with you. My friends' parents watch this, and they laugh their ass off. <laughs> like, my grandma watches this. What? She doesn't even watch anime, she just watches it for the funny! <laughs> but even still, like, subscribe, share with your friends, go follow me and Chris on TikTok, mine's ToxicG065, his is It's Chris. Go, go, go follow us on Instagram, whatever you do. Know that we care for you and we're gonna do this every Thursday, don't forget that, because I've been ne neglecting to say that. Every Thursday, usually at 6pm EST, we do this. And I know today was a little bit delayed, but we it's because we had to get Tom on here, which he was only a little, little bit later, like an hour away. So, know that we love you guys. Like, subscribe, and that's all for today's video. Enjoy, you dirty little filthy little animals. You bacas. Little sussy bacas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tonight has been a great episode. So, let me kiss you goodnight. Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. Did you, uh, did you just kiss me back? Uh, oh, yeah. Alright, I think we need to stop. I think we need to stop. Alright, okay, that's it for the, the video. I'm cut sorry. The tape, cut I'm the leaving. Tape.